this engine is uh, got is famous for blowing the lower intake manifold gaskets and the upper intake manifold gasket and the upper intake manifold itself a lot of times like my car my 96 it uh, backfired on me and it blew all the uh, vacuum lines right off the engine <laughs> and uh, it turns out that the car was burning the antifreeze through <clears throat> there was a leak in the intake manifold a lower intake manifold gasket so it was getting into the cylinders and burning it off well it got to the point where it leaked so bad that it backfired the engine so <clears throat> uh, in research I, re I realized that the engines not damaged as far as you know it, it's not so bad that I have to demo the vehicle what's going on is what they call hydrolock where water got into the inside the cylinders and you can only compress water so far and it'll it'll not let the engine start this is for a Buick 1996 and also a 2002 Buick Regal with a 3800 series 2 V6 I'm gonna show you what everybody else seems to skip alright this is for a non-turbo engine okay um, a lot of times the uh, 3800 series 2 will blow the upper intake manifold and a lot of it has to do with the lower intake manifold gaskets blowing also and uh, so you're gonna wanna get lower intake manifold gaskets along with the, everything else um, I went to a very popular store here in my hometown automotive store and they wanted four hundred dollars for a upper intake manifold and uh, that's just stinking ridiculous so I did some research and uh, I recommend either JC Whitney or rockauto.com so here I'm gonna show you what's going on with Rock Auto all right, you, you go to their site and you're going to get a list of vehicles. So what you do, I'm trying to look through the camera here, I can't see anything. Okay, so I found a Buick. Click on that and find the year. Da -da 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 -da. 2002 okay and then you find Regal and then you find 38 3.8 liter v6 or supercharged whichever yours is mine's a 3800 series 2 which basically it's a fancy word for saying 231 v6 Okay, so you click on the 3.8 liter V6 for my example. And anything you need to find is going to be up in this. You can find it with this uh, search box here, okay? But what I did is I, I opened up a whole crap load of windows so that I, I could just show you everything real quick. Alright, so when you start buying stuff, you're going to get a cart. And I made up this fake cart for you to so you can see what's going on all right first thing I recommend very first thing buy something cheap for instance the uh, let's say your heater hose connectors okay order those first because trust me you're gonna need them whether you need one or two okay so you order those first and uh, they're like they're well under four dollars each so the reason why you want to order those first is because once you get those you're going to receive a code and it's going to give you five percent off and you take that code and you put it in the how did you hear about us box and then your price will drop 
five percent at least all right okay so this is your cart like I said I just went through everything and and uh, cheated a little bit okay so here we go all right so first thing you're gonna want is the lower intake manifold gasket all right it's going to sit here it is uh, says lower intake material all right that set that's a complete set and you're gonna get it for if you have the same kind of engine I do it'll be just under forty two dollars uh, when you click on something it'll show you your options of whatever they have for that year and make alright you you click on the info and you decide which one you want for my particular vehicle it was the uh, Magnum MS 18144 so you click on the info box So you click on the info box and you get a picture of whatever you're going to receive, okay? So you get your, on this particular set you get your gaskets for the heads, between the heads and intake. And these, these two gaskets are for the block, between the block and the lower intake. You're going to use either or, alright? My 1996 Buick Regal used this set here and my 2002 uses this set here you're gonna get some uh, black you're gonna get some black RTV so you don't have to buy any of that this is gonna go on uh, I think you call it the map sensor and then this and this are the water gaskets for your thermostat and then these are the new gaskets for the fuel injectors and these are a couple of water outlets whichever type of uh, intake manifold you have alright next you're gonna want to get the upper intake manifold itself and uh, for my engine it was sixty four dollars and seventy nine cents Uh, so you, you find the one you want you click on the info box again they all show up here you know so you click on the info box and uh, so you're gonna get the upper intake manifold you will get you will get the gasket that goes between You will get the gasket that goes between the upper intake manifold and the throttle body. It just doesn't show it here. Okay, and you will get the tube and the gasket. You're going to get the uh, anti-backfire system. With That's the complete system right there. And then you're going to get the vacuum system. <clears throat> and then you will be getting more gaskets for your fuel injectors. And this piece goes right in there in that tube area. It goes from the lower intake to the upper intake. Uh, don't try real hard to get the original one out if it doesn't want to come out don't, don't ruin it alright next thing you're gonna to wanna to get on your shopping list here is uh, valve cover gaskets cause trust me most 3800 series 2 most of them leak really bad through the valve covers if the car is suffering from hydrolock you're gonna to wanna to replace those gaskets because you're gonna to need to uh, clean out any antifreeze that blew up in there into the valve cover area alright 
So you click on your valve cover options and I chose the VC 314-3G and this it comes with the gaskets and these are called grommets they go around the bolts uh, that hold the valve covers on and they they pretty much once they get tight they won't let you push it down any further and there you go that's good enough the valve cover gaskets are 678 for my particular engine both of my cars use the same gaskets alright and then the next thing you're gonna want if you need one you're gonna need a belt tensioner and I'll show you what I did okay so I got the cheapest one and uh, you know it works so anyway I got the cheapest one and they send you this cheap plastic crap which most likely your vehicle they're leaking and cracked anyway so if you don't see any leaks on them I can just about promise you that they're leaking that where you don't see them or they're about to crack and burst anyway at least alright so you what I did was I I got this and then Um, uh, I, I went and got the, uh, elbows, alright, you can find those under heater hose connectors, and, uh, depending on your vehicle, you might need, uh, one of these, like my 96 only needed one elbow, but my 2002 needed one of each one the same size and one with uh, longer in one end and those are 318 and 328 like I said if you got those first then you could get a discount on the rest of them one last thing I want to show you is uh, once you start putting everything into a cart it'll pop up this little box here that says some parts in your cart have alternates which could ship together and reduce shipping costs find out how and uh, trust me that's that's very true because the last order I sent them was like forty eight dollars in shipping costs so if you can combine uh, any products I recommend doing so it's every every uh, shipping place that they have it'll show you a different letter okay so these are products shipping from the same place all these A's and then you got a B and a C's there's one B and a few C's so for instance if you could find a different place to get this uh, B from you know you would you could save I don't know how much but it would add up one last thing for everything that you receive either by FedEx or by US mail or however you receive it make sure that uh, you keep the packaging until you're done with the project and uh, make sure that you keep it separate so that you know what product came in what package uh, they are very good at uh, returning things they're very quick and they're very understanding so don't be afraid to return something you're gonna need a torque wrench uh, if you don't have one just go to amazon.com and uh, get this uh, AC Delco ARM 602-4 half inch torque measurement adapter okay it handles from uh, 4 to 148 pounds it's 41 dollars plus shipping if you have a torque wrench you can adjust your torque wrench with this thing or you can use this as a torque wrench with uh, inch pounds or foot pounds 
you're gonna need one you could also use this uh, U480 uh, it's an OBD2 and uh, it's about 14 bucks something like that that's a uh, your computer reader for your car it's pretty cheap and uh, it doesn't have all the codes available but you can find the codes that you need on YouTube I apologize ahead of time because uh, <clears throat> I had to use two different cameras so some of this stuff is going to be a little bit blurry but you will get the, the idea naturally take this under advisement and uh, attempt it at your own risk 